Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I think you can hear me now. It's complicated when I'm playing on only one, when streaming with only one screen. Yeah, I forgot the, to turn the volume of the mic. Okay. So what I was saying is that um, I've come back to this place because uh, it was clear that I missed something in when I was uh, investigating about the phantom squid. And Max told me on the forum that I indeed missed something. And it was this book here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but it doesn't really matter. And then I choose sides. Um, because actually this guy is doing things for the good cause. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. And there's something else that I missed. It was that there is a map of the world that I, I'm su um, I can show with M. So let's try that. Huh. Nice. So I'm here at the south of this map. Goat Shed Harbor is my current place. Looks like the island is much bigger than just this town, which is itself already very big. Oh, but I, I already visited this place. Remember this statue here. And then I was able to go either this way or this way. Um, yeah. And the objective was to visit the rest of the island. So Spruce Head is this place at the very east of this big island and a crab hook is on the north. So this is the fisherman village. And I don't see my original village here. Goats. Oh, goat's head. Yeah, it makes sense. I was saying goat shed. That's stupid, goat's head. Thank you. Um, what else did I want to do here? Yes, let's try to go back to the the headquarters of the guild and see if I can do something special with this document, with this forged document. Why don't you take a look at this letter that I have here? You handed over the threatening letter to, from Astra. This is... Oh dear goodness, I need to leave, excuse me. Okay, that's great, but I actually already visited this place uh, when I'm, I was coming from the tunnels. So what's the point? Is there really something else that I I can do here? Yeah, and when my when my microphone was off, sorry about that again. I was uh, explaining that this game. If you missed yesterday's stream, this game is an original game with completely uh, customized graphics free graphics, names and sounds. 
Yeah, I already read all of this. But it's still a work in progress and apparently um, I only I've only done like 20% of um, what can be done for now. So the game is already quite long. There are still um, a few Zelda sounds remaining, but they will be uh, replaced eventually. Okay, so I could have visited all this uh, lower floor um, before, but it it didn't really matter anymore now that I was able to visit from the north here. draft of some trade agreements writing mm -hmm. I already read, read all of that what did Aster say I wasn't I was supposed to find some documents and some really in important things here but uh, I didn't really I heard from Reisdorf that you spilled ink on his carpet, but at least not his records. <laughs> uh, it was blood. And that the phantom squid slipped out the window. Did you track him down? Oh yeah. No way, he managed to get away. Well, I suppose he should. I should thank you for at least protecting Reisdorf's record here. Oh, and he's giving me money. Even if I betrayed him. I accidentally closed the game, I forgot to take the contract on your second attempt. Did I really take... Was there really something to take? There's a book here, How to Roll with an Iron Fist. Oh, it's published. Okay, I already had that. Crabhook Village. Okay, let's go there one more time, but this time from the pit. What's locked room? So this is the second episode of Let's Play Ocean's Heart. And um, if I only completed 20% of the current game, which is not finished at all, by the way, it means that uh, even if it's still a game in progress, I will be able to, mm, uh, to make a few live streamings. A few more live streamings. Okay, nothing more here. I didn't take any document. I 
I already read all of that several times. We talked about the room south of the north entrance. Yeah, so right here. Maybe I took something. Hi, hi, twelve K away. Oh. <coughs> Oops. No, nothing here. So this time I'm I'm sure I have found everything I had to find here. Was this again? Town guards. Goat's head. Yeah, okay. John Berry in the pit. Try and arrange. No. Let's go back and talk to um, Aster. Did you manage to find the contract Eamon is using to keep the people of Crabhook on the hook of for taxes? Yes! I'm sure I, I read something about that. It's right here. I see what you meant. Could they have ever held up their, held up their end? That's not what it, I... It was meant to do. If Eamon didn't control the town guard, they never would have si signed it. In fact, I'm not convinced destroying this will help much, as long as Eamon can have the guard enfor enfor enforce the terms, it might not matter if it exists. You mean the guards will still get the taxes one way or another, so we'd have to get control of the guards away from Eamon? Exactly. They say the guards only respect strength. That's why they call them the barbell, barbell brutes. I've heard about some treasure west of town that can bestow great physical strength on a person. I already have this treasure. Perhaps with that we, you could show the brutes who's really worth following. You can find the guards in a building on the north on the north end of town near the inn. Yes, I was just there like one minute ago. I see what I can do. Let's go. Heil, auto tight hater. 65. If you know what I mean. No, you're not very late. Especially because I played like five minutes without the microphone on. Um, he's a frail old man. Well, yeah, but well, you're just a little girl. What are you going to do about it? 
I'm going to show you guys I'm stronger. I'm like a fight in like fight or something. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's fight. Why don't you show your way to the boss and show him your power? Okay. No! Ah! I pressed escape. What is this? Don't care. Okay. I wanted to save my game. Okay. Uh, don't remember where, where I was when I saved. Never press escape in this game. There's no confirmation and no save. Okay. That's why I wanted to save, <laughs> because there was some progress. Never mind. Yeah, I'm playing in uh, unusual conditions. I'm in a hotel, I don't have my two screens. So it's harder than usual. And to save, I don't press escape. That's the most important thing to remember. <coughs> it's not here. Mm, no. But wait. Because there was also this locked door, but. Yeah, I, I had a key in the last episode, but uh, it, it was internal to the dungeon I was visiting. And I think I already used it. Okay, so back where we pressed escape. Yeah, you couldn't hear the welcome to episode 2 of the Let's Play Ocean's Heart. And Max confirmed that all graphics are completely original, including the ones that li looked like uh, my niche cap. But just like me in Mercury's chest, he um, he did something that uh, resembles my niche cap, but with different size and not exactly the same. Shape. I'm talking about the the pillars that we had that we saw in the in the corners of uh, of another house of the warehouse, if I remember correctly. There's a manifesto. Is it a song? It goes. We are the we are the barbell. Roots, enemies quake in their shoes. <laughs> are we weak? No, that's what we're not. We are so strong we can lift rocks. You have to admit, it's got heart at least. God, Captain. Well, I could hear you beating up the rest of the barbell brutes from all the way up here. What brings you straight through my guards? I'm here to convince you to stop enforcing. Eman's exploitative contracts, one way or another. Interesting. Ready to rumble then. Bring it on. I mean, rumble through some negotiations. <laughs> I don't think we need to fight. Really? I thought you guys only respected strength. Of course. What do you think it took for you to have the guts to fight through ten brutes and then demand to demand we stop working for 
our steady employer. Inner strength. Ah, okay. That's a new outer strength. All my guys can lift boulders, but they wouldn't stand up to me or try to undermine the head of the merchant's guild. You say he's having us enforce unfair contracts. Yes, I do. Well, I don't want to be the bad guy. Look, if you're strong enough to defeat like all my guys, stand up to me and the guild, you're the strongest. You're the captain now. We'll take our orders from you. I don't really want to be your captain. Too late, captain. And now he's vice captain. <laughs> we'll stop enforcing the unfair contracts. Okay. That's good. I think the stream is not, the connection is not as good as yesterday. <coughs> Save. Okay, finally I might uh, visit the rest of the world. <laughs> Let's go north first. <sighs> Northeast. He was where we win. So it's a guy who founded the village. West Aberforth and Goats. This part is scrolled in different handwriting. Okay. Hey. So there are several houses here. Oh no, it's still the village here. I think I went there. Yeah. And this house must be the one we saw on the map. Aberforth, ah, come to see my goats. I'd expect yes. Yes, they're fine goats. Only eat the white flowers, mind. But these, hey, what you'll be after is a great stone goat. Yes, she swims through the earth itself and comes alive to eat. But only when you scratch her left ear. The great stone goat. Is it the huge statue that we saw yesterday? It really didn't look like a goat. The left ear. Hmm. Let's go see the statue just to be sure. Ah, 
Ah, uh, every time this guy gets me. So that's not a goat, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yes, it's a goat! <laughs> ah, I really wasn't seeing the the ears. You know, I thought this this rock was um just on the on the ground. Well, actually, it is. So I thought the head was um, uh, was more was higher. <laughs> Don't know how to explain. I just didn't understand the shape. So this looks like a dungeon. This doors. Torches are nice. There's something here. A button. Let's go here first. Wow, new monsters. Bones. 50 crowns, that's a lot. There's a note someone scrawled down on some scrap paper. Dearest Jacob, may you put on your hat in the morning only to find it was a hive of angry bees all along. This positively the worst spot for the treasure cache. Once you left the goat's mouth closed behind you, I've been stuck inside for two days. I don't know that I'll ever find my way out, so if you ever come back for a gold, my spirit is sure to be haunting it. Thought you should know. Sincerely, William. Thank you, William. I'm still in shock that I didn't realize that it was a gold statue. For me, the ears were really on. On a, on a lower layer than uh, the rest. You found a key! That's not really a surprise, but can I get some hearts? Maybe I should have bought some oranges, because apparently they can restore some life. Ah. Oh! Your health is increased by one! Ah, I, I, I thought it, it would be uh, a much longer dungeon. So actually, I'm no longer in danger. Okay, awesome. A new heart. Exact, uh, exactly what I needed. And once you realize that it's a goat, um, you cannot unsee it. <laughs> Okay. It's a good thing that I came back to check because uh, I was almost sure that I wouldn't find anything special. I was wrong. No, you didn't really spoil. I, I already realized that it was about goats. For example, there's one here. And even though I was pronouncing goat shed, I was still uh, 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 noticing the, the goat part of the name. So, why didn't I visit this cave?
Wow. Crystals. Holes. These the graphics of these holes are extremely nice. He's really good. And these are the pillars I was talking about. They are very similar to mine in Zelda Mercury's chest. Which are also very similar to the ones in uh, Zelda Manish Cap. Um, and here is a crystal apparently, but I don't have a bow yet. So no way to get to the treasure chest. I don't have bombs either, but I think I can buy some. There was a shop. Um, just let me find that shop again. There was a bomb shop somewhere. Uh, what was this place again? Yeah, nothing interesting here. It was where the um, phantom squid attacked. Flower shop. Where is the bomb shop? There's something else here. Alchemist. This was also interesting. Maybe I can do some stuff here now. Check out in the corner. Oh! Bombs are here! Oh yes, I do! Five for 50 crowns. That's expensive, but okay. I really want bombs. Uh, uh, so, a jar of bait, we can use it. Oh, yes. I forgot about this stuff. To bait monsters. Small flat stones, but I already have that. expensive and finally this special thing 20 crowns white man recruit king's crown ghost orchid and dandelion seeds I totally don't have what what they want <coughs> the lack of shop signs I don't agree there is one here Um, there is one here, there is one here, and this is probably not a shop, oh uh, yes it is, <laughs> but uh, there are flowers, so uh, it's, it's also pretty clear, and I can always go back to my place if I want. But not now. Um, yeah, cool, I have the bombs. So actually with the bombs, can I... Can I throw a bomb? I think so. Yay! I was thinking of the bow first. But after I bought the bombs, I realized that maybe I could use them here. 20 crowns. Okay. Even the graphics of the, the crystal are great. Ok, 
Okay. West, did I do everything? I think... I think so. Nothing more to see here, probably. The door is locked. Yeah. Thank you for the hint. Maybe it's on purpose that the big goat statue is uh, not really so easy to recognize. Don't know. Um, here as well, ruin. Okay, another cave. Oh, easy chest. Monster guts. I have a lot of these eight. Oh, an apple. Does it count as a heart? Wow. Wow, new monsters. They are scary. This one is very scary. These ruined graphics are very good as well. How nice is that? The broken wall and this nice entrance. Really good. What can I do here? Apparently, I cannot throw a bush in the fountain. When did you get the fourth heart? Um, in the small dungeon uh, of the giant goat statue. It was the reward of that small dungeon. I don't know if we should call this a dungeon. So I must be on the north part of the, the island now. This flower is special. You found a king's crown bloom. Is this an ingredient for the elixir? I think it is. Still can't go there. I want this, these white flowers. Let's drop a bomb. <laughs> It was stupid, of course. Okay. Actually, I have the same flower here if I want. And it has nothing special. So, okay, the whole point of coming here was to pick up the... What was the name again? King's Crown Bloom something? And then there's this, this fountain, I don't know what to do. I, I must have pressed space, yes. Space, nothing happens. Hi, Adrian. Ah, wait. What's wrong with this? That's weird. Okay, so the north part is finished. I visited all this already. Who 
Let's go this way now. Hmm. A crow. Hey, I can lift these. Twenty crowns. I should be able to use this as a weapon. Wow, nice tower. I saw it on the map. It's probably the next dungeon. So before I go there... So the funny thing is that I, I could have come here uh, at the very beginning of the game instead of visiting the village and trying to do the side quests from the village. But what do we have here? Hey, if you're traveling through the forest, watch out for mandrakes. They look like normal bushes, but pop out and kill you. No. That's evil. There used to be... There used to be a blacksmith who lived in the forest. He locked his house to go on a walk one day, and what do you think? Killed by the mandrakes. Watch out. Okay. The popular forest, further north and east. Spruce head. Now that I see the map in my head, I visualize better the names. Really quite far north, Quapro village, shore and west goat. Goat's head harbor. Mm -hmm. I've heard about the um, poplar forests. Don't remember what they told me when I was in the in the town um, in Goat's head harbor. But there was something interesting to find in the forest. A treasure, probably, or something like that. There's poetry script on here. It's an ode to root vegetables. It's not very good. And carrots e everywhere. There's a big barrel of carrots. Take one, yes. So I took a carrot. You've already taken enough. Who told, who told me about carrots? I'm sure that there was discussion about finding carrots right here. Maybe it was that when they t when someone told me about uh, going near the forest to find carrots or, or something. But um, I have a very bad memory for <laughs> for these games. <laughs> okay, dungeon time. It's strange that the music does not change. What are we talking about, Phoenix? Ubuntu? Ah, it was supposed to be released today? It's true that um, it's April. Hmm, looks like the lighthouse is lit now. Oh, it's not a tower. How stupid am I? It's a lighthouse. I'm not sure if it was the intended way to activate this crystal. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. Yes, and... The lighthouse is lit, but uh, it's okay that there are two ways to activate it. Normal way should be this, and then you fall into the hole, into the hole, and go upstairs again. Anyway, the result is the same. There are two ways to solve to solve the puzzle, which is cool. 
the fact that there are two ways is cool, even if it was not intended. Maybe it was. So, uh, it was not a dungeon. Not a dungeon at all. So, our next step is the Poplar Forest. Save. Oh, wow. There's some strange um, reflects. Don't know how to say that. It's very easy to hide some some treasures here. Oh, okay. I think I understand the idea. I have to find my way. In all these trees. Oh! 20 crowns. Yeah. So I have to be careful with bushes, they told me. But not only because of holes. I think I will be attacked by other bushes. So there's nothing more to do here. I, c I cannot go further west. Ah, I didn't mean to fall again. This forest is huge, but... Maybe I have to go this way. I haven't opened the game at all in Solaris Quest Editor. What was that? Did I break a stone with my sword? Oh no, it was this sound maybe. Monster Geode. So I don't want to open the game with Solaris Quest Editor because if I see the maps open in the big map editor window, they will seem completely different than in the game. They will seem uh, much easier to to understand if you see the whole thing. They will seem smaller, actually. Much smaller. They feel big when you play because the screen is only 32 pixels... 30... sorry. 320 pixels by... There's a chest here. By 240. Okay, so I'm following the only possible path. cabin in the woods. Locked! That's frustrating. I can jump here, but then I can't come back. So let's visit the rest first. This forest is a maze. 
Wow. It was a um a uh, DQ. This forest is a maze. Oh, a key! An old key! Can I open the cabin with that key? I knew that there was going to be something hidden in the trees at some point. But I'm lost. Did I visit this already? Yes, we are back to the cabin. Yay! Ooh. Let's do that. And that. You found some armor that's slightly better than what you currently have. Your defense increased by one. Still no color change, but that's the second improvement of my armor. Very nice. Thank you, cabin in the woods. Is it on the map? I don't think so. Oh, I can also go there. And yeah, I wouldn't get lost like this if if I had opened the map uh, in Solaris Quest Editor. I'm sure that if I do open it, the forest will seem very simple and very small. Oh! Oh! I died! Didn't realize that I was so low. Huh, this new, this new armor is not working. <laughs> I almost immediately died. Or oh, was it a new monster? Was I low on life? Yeah, so these are the attacking bushes. They are quite, quite strong. You collected a white mandrake root and a second one. Okay. What's, what is this? Okay, so I, I found a few interesting ingredients here, and I am back at this place. So maybe I visited most of the forest. The, this was the entrance. I think there are most more stuff to see uh, this way, or maybe not. No, there was no way to continue east. I was there before. Or maybe here? Ah, this, this is new. Okay. We can go to Spruce Head, to Thrush Fort, to Crab Hook Village, but we will need a boat. Back to the forest, okay. I won't visit uh, more new regions for now. Because it's getting late, I will finish, I will end this stream soon. But first I want to go back to the alchemist store. And see if I have all the ingredients for the elixir. Oh, light. Light is back.
here. Alright, what do we need? White one, Drake Root. I have that. King's Crown, I have that. Ghost Orchid Battles, I think I have that from yesterday. And Dandelion Seed, I don't have. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two Mandrak Roots. But are these white Mandrak Roots? I'm not so sure. But anyway, I don't have the Dandelion Seeds. I think. And what was the other stuff? King's Crown? Uh, yeah, Ghost Orchid Petals. Don't really remember. Hmm. Okay, we are we are approaching the end of this stream. This is world episode number two of this great game. Really, it's just as good as a, a professional game, Monster Geod. And remember that it's only uh, a game in development. A lot of things will still be improved. And next time we will visit this new map. I have no idea what part I will visit first. Spruce Head or Crab Village or this uh, um, Thrush Fort apparently. But where am I on the map? I'm probably somewhere here. Oh, this must be the fort. Crab hook. Maybe I will need a boat, but maybe we can walk on the ice? Is this ice? <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe uh, this guy is, is our friend. I hope you can see my cursor when I do that. Otherwise, it's pointless to show things. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Now I'm sure that you can see my my mouse. Spruce head. So we're here. Spruce head. Yeah, we'll visit this first. Because obviously there are more things to visit north. And maybe this is ice and we can walk somehow. Or maybe <laughs> this monster the legendary monster exists and he can help us. Who knows? That would be fun. That would be really fun. I was saying this as a joke, but actually that's possible. The big sea dragon. Okay, what did I miss in the comments? Hi, STD Gregoire. Um, yeah, sorry for the stream quality tonight. Apparently, it was not as good as yesterday. Even if I'm in the exact same conditions. But um, this will probably be the last stream in this hotel because I will be home from now on much more. And I will be able to stream uh, with, <laughs> with my better connection. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye.